Okay, in this video, I'm gonna take you through my full arm day workout. Biceps, triceps, a little bit of forearms, you know the deal. This workout is designed to give you those powerful arms. And trust me, this works. This is coming from an absolute twig, mate. Look at my arms when I started out training, non-existent. So if it works for me, it's gonna work for you, bro. And anyone else who has skinny arms, maybe you're very tall and you got long, long limbs and it's hard to fill out, this will work. Or maybe for whatever reason, you just can't seem to grow Popeye arms. You just wanna fill out your t-shirt, but you just can't. I know it's annoying, bro, but don't worry. Do this arm day once a week, throw it in there and you're sorted. And you might be wondering, how do I fit this arm day into my split? Easy, bro, you ready? So Monday, you got pull. Tuesday, you rest. Wednesday, you got push. Thursday, you rest. Friday, you got arms. Saturday, you rest. And Sunday, you got legs. And then Monday, you rest and you repeat, all right? That right there will transform your body. You need to be hitting your arms with more frequency, volume, and intensity, bro, if you want them to grow. And the easiest way to do that, add an arm day into your split. However you choose to do so, throw in an arm day. It will definitely help. And again, like every workout, you're gonna wanna order your movements in order of importance. If you wanna grow your triceps, you want that croissant horseshoe triceps, and you already have pretty good biceps, then start with triceps and finish with biceps and vice versa. If you don't care, maybe just bounce from tricep to bicep movement. So you start with triceps, next one is biceps. Next one is triceps, next one is biceps, like that. That's also pretty fun and effective. You can get both pumps at once. Me personally, I pick six exercises, three triceps, three biceps, and I go from there. And I tend to start with my biceps because my triceps are already pretty well developed, but my biceps are kind of slacking. And my first exercise is one of my favorite exercises right now, the standing barbell curl. This is a classic movement. Menser, Arnold, they all did this movement. And it's excellent for building that bicep peak. Remember to keep your elbows close to your torso and curl the barbell up all the way up and slowly release the barbell down. That slow descent is so painful, but it's so good at growing your biceps. The stimulus to fatigue ratio is insane with this exercise, which means that the amount of muscle growth it can generate with minimal recovery required is top tier. And really, again, you don't have to go heavy, okay? You can legit use the bar. That's what I do sometimes. Just really squeeze, control, and stretch the bicep to make it as hard as possible with the barbell alone. And the max I'd go probably is 25 pounds on each side. That's literally it. Anything more than that, your form might break down, your mind-muscle connection will suffer, and you won't grow as well. Remember, it's not how much weight you move, it's how you move that weight. Also, I like to use a suicide grip to take tension off the forearms. So I wrap my thumbs over my hands. This just makes it even harder and puts more tension on the bicep, which will allow you to get a better mind muscle connection and a better pump. So this movement right here is go to the targets, the long head of the bicep. And now sometimes I do switch it up probably week by week with incline dumbbell curls. These are also great. They target the long head and they kill. Same exact logic, very slow descent, full stretch at the bottom and squeeze at the top. So these two are what I would start off with typically. So just choose one, take two sets till failure, failing within the eight to 12 rep range and you're sorted. Next up is dumbbell hammer curls. This variation targets the brachialis, which is the muscle beneath your bicep, which pushes your bicep up when you grow it and is a really good arm builder. Keep your palms facing each other and don't swing the weight up. You can do these seated or standing, alternating or both at once. I tend to switch it up from time to time again. Just make sure to control the weight all the way down and squeeze at the top. This also hit a bit of your forearm, the top part of your forearm, the brachioradialis. So that's another plus of doing hammer curls. You can get some forearm activation as well. And I guess you could also do rope hammer curls. These are a good one, but I prefer this variation of dumbbell hammer curls. Two sets to failure, eight to 12 rep range, boom. So we've hit the long head, the brachialis. Now we need one more for the short head of the bicep. Time for concentration curls. So again, this is a classic bodybuilding move, which I actually used to clown because I used to be like, there's way more optimal effective exercises for this movement, but this movement is actually very good at generating hypertrophy. So you sit down, you brace your elbow against your inner thigh, you curl the weight towards your shoulder, you really isolate the bicep. Same logic applies, slow and controlled reps. These are single arms, so I can really focus on squeezing my biceps, improving the mind-muscle connection, and fixing any muscle imbalances that I have. So I started doing these, but I also alternate between these and the preacher bicep curl machine, or spider curls, where you hang off a bench and curl the dumbbells up if I can't be bothered to do single arm. Again, two sets of failure, failing within the eight to 12 rep range and choose whichever one you wanna do, they all work. Now moving on to triceps with tricep dips. I've thrown in tricep dips again. You can do these with a bench or a chair, even if you're at home, or if your gym has one of those tricep dip machines with a pin stack, those are really good as well. But if you're doing regular dips, lower your body by bending your elbows, then push back up. You need to use the closer grip rather than the wider grip to bias the triceps. 
Otherwise, you're going to activate your chest and shoulders a lot. Make sure to stay as upright as possible when you're doing your dips to target the triceps. I typically do two sets till failure and I pause for two seconds at the bottom in the stretch. And if I really want to burn my triceps out, what I do is once I fail on dips, I'll flip the assist pad down to do push downs. This absolutely kills. This is such an underrated exercise. Up next is skull crushers. Now you can do this with an easy bar, dumbbells on a flat bench, on an incline bench, whatever it is, you just lie on the bench, you extend the weights from your forehead level, similar to skull crushers, the JM press. I've started doing this on the Smith machine. This is insane. So it's basically in the middle of a skull crusher and a close grip bench press. So you really slow eccentric down, feel your tricep being ripped apart in the stretch at the bottom and then press the weight up and squeeze. And again, if I'm doing Smith J and press, I'll do two sets till failure, failing within the five to eight rep range. And the final exercise is the overhead tricep extension. So lift a dumbbell over your head, lower it behind your head, keeping your elbows pointed upwards. Maintain good posture, that's very important. You can either do these single arm or using both arms. But if you want my advice, single arm much better if you're doing dumbbell extensions. You can get a deeper stretch and it's more comfortable. Obviously you can do overhead extensions with a cable rope as well, whatever you prefer, but this is just giving you some variation to choose from. Again, two sets to failure, failing within the eight to 12 rep range. And once I've failed on my last set of extensions, I'll hold the stretch position for 30 seconds. This burns again, really rips the muscle fibers apart, generating more hypertrophy. And that's it, okay, we've hit every head of the tricep, the medial, the lateral, and the long head with these three movements. If you do this for a month consistently, your arms will morph. And that's the full workout done. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful. And Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, bro. In the description below, free training program, free nutrition plan, and check out Barbell Apparel for some insanely comfortable clothes. I kid you not. The jeans, I can like play footy in these jeans, I swear. These hoodies make you look aesthetic. My other favorite, which is the XL pump cover, which makes you look huge. So check that out as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more workouts like this. And let me know in the comments what videos you want me to cover next. See you in the next video. Peace.